Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a report for a database in Microsoft Access. This is the type of report that we're going to create for our database in Microsoft Access. It's just going to show all the data in the file and it's ready for printing. Now I'm going to discard this report that I've created. It's going to close everything down and then we can get rid of this report and go and create a brand new report. To create a report, I'm going to start by clicking on my table, which is members, which is what I want to base the report on. I'm going to click the Create tab and I'm going to choose the report wizard. Now the report wizard is pretty awful. The results I'm going to get are anything but satisfactory, but I'm going to show you how to edit those so that you can make a report that's going to work for you. Table members is already selected and I want to report on all of these fields. So I'm just going to click to add all of them into the selected fields area and then click next. Now we can group our report and I want to group this because I want to put all the grade A players together and then the B grade and then the C grade. So I'm going to click grade and click on it. You can see that grade has now been removed from this area and it's placed up here. So we're not going to get grade appearing twice, but the grade A players are going to be together and then B and then C. I'll click next. Now I want to sort my records and I want to, them to appear in last name order, but if two people have the same last name, then I want them to be in first name order. So first of all, I'm going to select last name ascending and then first name ascending and then click next. Now you're not seeing very much here from the design as to really much what the report is going to look like, but the one that I had used was the block report. So we're just going to click on block and we're going to do it on a portrait sheet of paper because there are not a lot of records to appear here or not a lot of fields to appear across the sheet of paper. And then we're going to click next. And I'm just going to call this report members and I want to preview what's happening even though it's going to look like a disaster. So I'll click finish. And here's the disaster that we've got. You can see that grade A has been given a whole heap of space here in the report that it doesn't really need at all. And there's something happening over here that's not very happy either. Now, as we could with queries, we can edit this report. So I'm going to click on the report to select it, go to the home tab of the ribbon and from the view drop down list, we'll choose design view. And if you have followed the tutorial series so far and you've had a look at creating a form, you'll notice that this report is fairly similar to the form design. And so we're going to edit it a little bit so that we can make our report look a little bit better. Now the report header shows us the header area. So this is the word that is at the top of the report. Then there's a page header. These are the headings for the report and you can see that they're all over the top of each other. And then this is the detail. So these are the fields that are appearing on the report. And you can see here that year as a member is right on top of birthday. So the first thing that we need to do is go and get grade and shorten it. So I'm just going to click on the detail area and I'm just going to make it a whole lot smaller because it doesn't need to be that big. And I'm going to do the same with the header so that we don't have overlapping things happening here. Now last name can be moved across so I can just drag it across or I can use the arrow keys. If I use the arrow key, then it's not going to move vertically. I want to align the field name with the actual content. Now I can do that automatically if I click firstly on the heading. So that's this box here and then on the detail one by shift clicking on it. I need to do it in this order. Firstly, the heading that I want to move and where I want to align it to. Right click and I'll choose align and left. And you can see that the last name heading now appears over the last name field. Let's have a look at our report so far. You can see what we've shrunk down the grade and that last name and the data is now nicely lined up and we've bought back some space on our form for the rest of the data. Let's go back to design view 
and we need to deal with first name. So firstly I'm just going to move the first name field across and then I'm going to line up the heading with it. Click, shift click, right click, align left. Now the same thing with the phase pad. I'm just going to click on that little checkbox, move it over and then align the heading with the checkbox. Right click, align left. Year's a member and year's a member so I'm just I'm going to take the detail area first and move it across. Now year's a member is actually really small so I can shrink that down because there's only like very small numbers there. But this is the heading so I'm going to click on it and align it to year's a member. Right click, choose align and then left. You may notice here that the years, the Y off years a member has been lost. Now the reason for that is that this particular field title here has not been made or the label has not been made wide enough. So I can just drag on it to make it a little wider so that the text can appear in it. And then the birthday field, we noticed already that it was too narrow to actually display the birthday. So I'm going to widen it a little bit so that hopefully that birth date can appear. And I'm going to click on birthday and birth date and just align these nicely. Now I think I can probably still make some improvements on this form or this report but let's have a look at it for now. Okay, the birthday is not big enough and we've got plenty of room between first name and last name so we might go and find some of that room to make the birthday appear better. So back into design view, I'm going to select all these fields by clicking on the first and shift click on the last. So I've got them all selected. I'm going to move them all over by just pressing on the arrow key and that's given me just a little bit extra space to use this birthday field and make it a little bit wider. So again I'm going to make it wider, line these two up with a line left and let's go and see if we've got enough room now. Yes, everything's looking fairly neat and tidy. We could do a little bit of lining up better here but basically our report is now complete and we would be able to print this. To save the report I'm going to click the close button. We'll be prompted to save changes to the design which we want to so I'll click yes. In future, as with queries and forms, all we need to do is to double click on the report to see the report in Microsoft Access. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and you'll be advised when new videos are released. Visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Microsoft Access.